In order to show that you're allied to her and not so much to the servants, I mean, be slightly also behind, just slightly arranging them and, and amused <laughs> with her that it's all such a... It's all such a bore. So between the two of you, the only person you smile and you enjoy jokes with is mm -hmm. her. I cannot choose. I cannot choose. I cannot, cannot True. With your papers and with the um, typewriter somewhere underneath there, there'll be some photographs. Right. And you'll have a photograph, and you need to find one of Bassanio. I think you fell in love with him, you see. And I think you talked to her at the time, yeah. this, this beautiful young soldier who came in. And, and, and then it was never allowed. Do you remember, lady, do you remember? In your father's time, do you remember? A young Venetian, and a scholar, and a soldier. Yes, yes, it was Bassano. And that was beautiful what you did, absolutely beautiful. And that whole thing. And there, I think, in the going back between there and there, in your tummy, in your, this is the whole of these five years. Uh -huh. It's been terrible. So the moment you've seen the effect on her, I remember. Great, next plot. Get me Bassanio immediately. <laughs> Could you come over? You, if you would just, we're having a house party and a, uh, caskets. And, oh yes, it's <laughs> going to be a group. So I've been singing for ten years now, and uh, I've done a lot of contemporary music, apart from the classical repertoire, of course. And yeah, I look very much forward to to be Porsche in Merchant of Venice. I see the opportunity to to build something new and to find my own character and. Yeah. One thing that interests me is that she's, you know, in the Belmont scenes, um, you know, she's she's a very generous yeah. character. And then when she goes to the trial uh, and enters into this male world. intolerant yeah. world, actually she becomes, in the end, by the end of that scene, quite cruel.